Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, it's actually bright and early Monday morning. Just sent the guys off. They're going to go mow. Hey, here's what today's video is all about. We're going to be doing a little DIY tool bench and uh, just workbench setup here that I want to take you guys through. Nothing fancy, but I wanted to show you a vice install that we're going to do and then also some blade sharpening with an angle grinder. Now, I have an RBG 712 unit, but it's over at my mom's house. So to go over there and to sharpen our blades, it takes a minute. Well, I wanted something where every two weeks we could just touch up our blades here at the storage locker, our little makeshift uh, home base for our lawn and landscape business. So we're going to go through that together today. Uh, as you guys can see right here, a quick little sneak peek. This is our little $99 table that we got at Harbor Freight. This is a little $99 vise that it picked up on Amazon. And then we've got our little blade grinder here, uh, angle grinder from DeWalt. So that's what we're going to take you through today. If you guys want to hang tight with us, we'll show you guys a little bit more about the uh, vise install. And then we'll sharpen some blades together and just kind of hang out here today while we do some maintenance on some of our equipment. Let's check it out. Make, 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 make the ground shake. All right, before we get too far into the video, I want to do a big shout out to Dave's Repair Service. He was the person that commented on our most recent video that had the most upvotes. He said, hey, can I get a quick shout out? Absolutely, Dave. Welcome to the channel and thanks for the support. And then also to Big Mikey or Mikey. He's a 14 year old young kid out there and he's actually going through some health challenges. Uh, his dad asked if I give him a little quick shout out as he goes into surgery for some stuff. So Mikey, our prayers are with you. Hope you're doing well, bud. And also thank you for watching the channel and hopefully recovery goes well for you as well. All right, so here's what we got access to today. We got our DeWalt bits uh, or what's left of what I currently have as a set and a kit. I don't know where these other two are. We might have to go buy a new kit today. Probably a Home Depot run here in a minute. I've got this uh, plywood that we bought. This is, I believe, half inch uh, treated uh, plywood. Don't don't quote me, I'm not a wood guy, okay? But here's my board. I bought a uh, two foot by four foot section over at Home Depot. I had them just make one cut, which is a one foot uh, long cut, and they divided it in half, so two 12 by 12 squares. And uh, I actually learned this from the gentleman next door who's got his storage locker. He's got the same workbench. This is from uh, Harbor Freight. It was 100, 110 bucks. You can sometimes get them on sale for like 90 or $99. Uh, quick little pan here if you guys haven't seen this workbench before. You know, a lot of you guys might be working out of storage lockers. A lot of you guys might have little makeshift sheds or shops. Um, it's not the most robust, you know, crazy sturdy. Uh, but so far so good. I mean, we've worked on some different things here Shaking some stuff, you know, not too bad uh, Stables one of our sponsors on the channel. So quick, I got a quick little plug-in shout out to those guys That's where I plan to keep all my fluids and uh, lubes and oils and all that for right now I need to figure out where to get those uh, metal uh, You know pegs to hang stuff like drills or the angle grinder just for different parts Here's all of our used lawnmower blades. So we rock about a dozen sets and so we sharpen them about every two weeks. So my idea is, by the way, this little uh, vise, it's the four and a half. Uh, we got this on Amazon, it was about a hundred bucks. I actually have one of these at my mom's. Uh, I love it, I've had this thing for about 10 years, my other one. And so uh, here's what we're gonna do. This this workbench, it's like one, uh, one inch or maybe half inch you know, probably just compressed wood, nothing super fancy. All right, so here's where I'm at so far, just thinking this out loud and putting this whole thought together. This is the angle of the blade right now that I'm gonna be cleaning up on this side here, right? And so we're going to want to sharpen this way, which means it's going to shoot inside the storage locker. Uh, I'm not opposed to that, but behind me, I've got my Billy Goat debris loader. Don't really wanna tarp it, don't wanna get a, uh, you know, a, a burn mat or whatever you guys call it to put on top of that. I think what I'm gonna do, and we can all do this together, is I'm gonna move this whole workbench to the other side. The lawnmower is gonna go here, workbench is gonna go there. I think that's gonna be the best setup. It's gonna take an extra minute, but let's take a couple extra minutes to do it right, make sure that it works, and that way we just think this whole thing through with our workflow. All right, well, the multi-force is doing good. It's out of the way for now, so we can work in here, and it fits back in here just fine. This actually fit really, really well in between the 
uh, wall in the steel beam here. Uh, this thing is probably 48 inches long, something like that. Um, again, just another quick little look here. You know, kind of flimsy shelving, but you get what you pay for. It's 99 bucks. One day we'll have some really nice, you know, workbenches at the pole barn that we've decided to build. Um, I've always talked about having like a shelf or marketing materials. One day I'll have all my postcards, my yard signs on a, on a workbench or a shelf. Uh, really easy to work with there. So again, now we can move this whole vise over. By the way, learning together. I am not the guru. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. In some way, shape, or form, maybe I will take this wood all the way to the corner. Uh, maybe not. I can always take the wood to the corner, but the problem is that this metal lip, you guys might be able to see the screw, the metal lip goes over a quarter inch, right? So anything I try to bolt through here, I got to go through that metal. I'm not opposed to it, but I don't really need to do that. So if I just bring it in a half inch lip all the way around, right? So this metal piece is going through here. This might be the way to go. And so the idea is to take this board and the other board, clamp it together, come up from underneath, right? With a, uh, maybe a three inch bolt. I got to do some measuring really quick. And that way we can lock this vise down. Now, one thing I saw in a video with Wrangler Star, love Wrangler Star, watch all of his videos, great dude, uh, is I could put this closer over here so the vise can still spin. I don't really foresee me needing to do that, so I think uh, I'm going to just kind of mount it here as is. Uh, he was talking about how if this drop down clamping lever wants to turn or spin, I'm kind of stuck, right? So he talked about putting it at that corner and that way we can turn it 90 degrees. Um, might run into an issue in the future, we'll see, but for right now, the, the, re the, you know, the reason I'm using this thing is just to sharpen blades. Now I can grind off blades, right, and shoot it out, shoot it into the air, keep it off any of the paint and the metal from, you know, the workbench or the storage locker, try to be respectful and not get anything uh, messed up. And so the RBG 712 is great for grinding out blades. One day I'll have it at my storage uh, or my, my own shop, right? But for some weekly growth, or some weekly cutting, I should say, if I just want to touch up the blades, uh, I can just take an angle grinder and clean this up in two seconds. Uh, this is the one that we use. I'll try to get the SKU somewhere. It's a 20 volt brushless. Uh, this one is not cheap. This one's like 200 bucks. DCG413. Uh, I'll try to maybe leave a link on Amazon if you guys want to check it out. Uh, you don't need a $200, you know, 20 volt system. Uh, you can get an angle grinder for, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks nowadays on Amazon. Uh, this one is a like a, med a medium heavy duty. It's got the brake. Uh, it's, it's actually really sweet. I've used it on quite a different uh, jobs. But now I can just take the angle grinder, touch these up. That's what I'm looking to do. Bada boom, bada bang. All right, guys, so we're doing some measurements here, and here's what I'm coming up with right now. I've got a quarter inch for, or I'm sorry, a half inch for the board, half inch for the table. I got a half inch for the vise, and now there's also going to be another board underneath, right? All right, so I don't know if you guys can read this as well, but we've got our Home Depot run, right? Half inch for the board, we got a half inch for the board half inch for the table, half inch for the vise, like I just suggested. So if you add it all up, that's two inches plus the washers we're gonna need, right? All right, guys, well, we are back from our little Home Depot run. And while we were there, I actually picked up this little uh, gray cork board tray. And then let me show you some other things that we got here. Went shopping, I bought some more little cork board tray holders. Just to kind of outfit this thing a little bit. I'm sure they're just kind of like cheap little plastic options here. Uh, I bought another little tray. And then the actual like little metal hooks that can just kind of, you know, go right there on the board. Uh, they were in the specialty screws section of Home Depot, kind of by Lawn and Garden. And then obviously we've got our bolts that we picked up. Now here's what we did. Just to be safe. We bought some 3 8 bolts, and then we also bought some 5 16 bolts. So 3 8 and 5 16. So hopefully, I'm thinking the 3 8 which one's thicker? I think it's the 3 8 right? Or the 5 16 Whatever one, you know, way to go public school, right? So let's put these through here, and I think that's going to give us the most stability 
for locking and clamping this vise down to the workbench. All right, guys, so it's a couple seconds later, a little edit here. Swear to God, you can't make this stuff up. Here's my little tray, right? And I'm like, how do I get this tray out? It won't come out. So I stuck my finger in there to pull it out. Oh, pull it out I did. There is a pencil sharpener. What? Why would there be a pencil sharpener in here? I thought it was like a little pull-out tray. I sliced my finger open so bad. I don't know if you guys can see. It stopped bleeding finally. I literally thought I had to go get stitches. Oh, uh, it's not going to focus. Dude, my shirt, I, it's just covered in blood right now. Like, <laughs> sorry for the fate of heart. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Why would there be, I just literally like did it to pull it straight out. I sliced. <gasps> What's up guys? All right, quick little transition here. I'm back at the storage locker. It's actually day two because, well, you guys can see right there. I sliced my finger open on the pencil sharpener there. <laughs> Telling you what, not a fun thing. All right, um, but you gotta be honest with the fans, gotta be honest with the viewers. Um, still learning every single day. I was like, why is this tray so difficult to get out? Well, cringe moment, stuck my finger in to pull it out, and as I stuck it in to turn it and pull it out, yeah, so any which way. All right, so as I go to make my four little pilot holes, usually I would mark the inside circle with a Sharpie or a pencil, of course. I have nothing. I have no pencils, no markers, no Sharpies, so. I'm going to tag up four spots here really quick. And then what I'll do is I'll screw these two boards together, make my pilot holes, hopefully be able to go through the table, everything will line up, and we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. I'm going to screw these two boards together just a little bit here. We have uh, some screws up here that I'm going to use just to make sure that I can get two holes uh, lined up through the boards. That way, when we drill through the table, uh, the board underneath will line up perfectly in theory. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Two little holes here. One, two. So we're back here, just double checking my holes and making sure the vise can turn in case I do want to turn it 90 degrees. This will work great. So what I'm going to do is remove one piece of board and then we're going to just start drilling down into this black tabletop and hopefully everything goes smooth, right?
All right, so we're back here. We've got the 3 8 bolt and we've got the 3 8 washer. Now, I just did a quick little double check. It does fit right here perfectly into the slot with the washer. So if you did little quarter bolts, you're going to have some flex with the vise. We don't want that, right? So we're going to make sure that all of our holes are lined up. Pop this through. Learning together. We should have a working blade grinder here in just a hot minute. All right, I got three of the bolts in. This one's a little tight, so I'm just gonna clean it up here, hopefully with the drill. Just give a little bit more room here for that bolt. All right, able to pop that in there. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes here and little adjustment. So what I did with the vise is I actually swapped it so I'm able to get that 90 degree turn. Uh, it's a little rusty like that. That's where it's gonna go to. Uh, but if I do need to work on anything and I need to bring it in, at least it can articulate anywhere on the workbench. Now, uh, my biggest concern was obviously being able to turn this clamp and make sure that we're still able to open and close. That's my biggest concern. Uh, and then one other thing here, as you guys would imagine, we ran out of bolt uh, room. So when I go underneath and I put that other board uh, with the two and a half inch bolt, it's just a little bit short. So if you guys do use this table and this setup with your three eighths bolt, go with the three inch bolt, not the two and a half. All right, so a little transition again. We went and got the three inch bolts. Now this is the old two and a half inchers. We got the three inch bolts. They went all the way through. And so I've already put the washers on, the lock nut, we're good to go. Uh, so I have to just tighten down these two really quick Thought I do that on camera and then we are pretty much good to go. Right, guys well we're gonna finish up here on the iphone my main camera went dead of course right as i go to button this thing up now i've actually done one blade here so far and it is working out great i love it perfectly sharp 
looking good. And so I'm really happy with this setup. Uh, all in, we're about eh, two, 250 bucks, you know, for the whole uh, workbench, the vise, the bolts, the screws, uh, maybe about two, three hours, maybe half that if I knew what I was doing, watching a video like this maybe. Um, when I got this board, by the way, we got two feet by three feet left over. Great little uh, shield for sparks. I think I'm gonna leave this here. I like that. I can always take it up and down uh, off the table as we go to sharpen our blades, but working out great. So that's what I got for you guys on the little DIY workbench, little $200, $250 value here. Hope this helped you guys out. Um, by the way, underneath those bolts, they worked out great. Uh, we were able to tighten those up. So everything worked out just well. Uh, three inch, three eighths. All right, so three inch bolt, three inches long, washers on both sides, you're good to go. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Thanks for watching, and uh, this vlog was a little spotty, a little jumpy, but hopefully you guys appreciate it, and uh, maybe this could be a cool little setup for you guys in your storage lockers or at your pole barns if you guys are getting your first little workbench going. Have a good day.